Hello, I'm Tom Britton. I'm a theater performer here in Chicago. I'm also one of the members of the Danger Circus. And on behalf of wellattended.com slash blog, I answer questions about theater marketing. Here we go. Uh, why would you produce theater? So a theater producer is, for lack of a better term, someone who pays the money to make the show. A theater in produ a producer in theater, in point of fact, does a lot more than that. They generally work with the director to help make sure the theater show is marketed correctly. They'll help choose shows. A producer has a lot of power in theater and in television. There are a few reasons I've found why people produce theater, at least on the small end. What I'm talking about here isn't um, the producers or Hamilton or Cats. What I'm talking about are budgets that are less than thirty-five to forty thousand dollars, which I'm imagining if you're watching a podcast on how to sell your show yourself, that's the pool you're playing in is the sub forty-five thousand dollars show. Here's the reasons. Uh, one, it ain't much money. A lot of folks will produce theater shows because you come to them and pitch them a show for five hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, or a thousand dollars. That you are a stand-up comedian and you've written a one-woman show. And all you really need, it's, it's your street clothes, it's your story about growing up with your dad in New Jersey and your funny jokes. All you need is rent for the theater and maybe a hundred bucks for some Facebook ads and a hundred bucks for some posters to hang up. Total of a thousand dollars for a six week run in some little small 50 seat black box, 35 seat black box somewhere on a Wednesday night. That ain't a lot of money. So when you ask for a low amount, it's easier to get than if I came to you and said, I need $45,000. You have questions if you're giving me $45,000. Another reason is ROI, return on investment. Now, this is why I would give you $45,000 is I've seen you consistently turn out amazing shows. You sell really well. And I know for a fact that if I were producing you, I could sell more tickets. I could double your ticket price and still double your sales. That's why I would give you $45,000 is because you made slightly that much or that much or slightly more during your last run. And I'll tell you right now, your last run was not as impressive as the run we're going to do would be. I see ROI. You're an investment. Don't even care what the show's about. I give you money, I get back more money, just like I would buying stocks or bonds, etc. Um, this work needs to be seen. You'll hear that a lot with the finer arts. So if you have a production of Troilus and Cressida, Shakespeare, if you don't know, and you want to get that off the ground, there are producers out there, people with money, who have five to ten thousand dollars to stage Troilus and Cressida out in some community theater, because that work needs to be seen. We don't have enough Shakespeare out here. We don't have enough fine arts out here, and I want to bring fine arts to my part of the world. My friends and I want to see Shakespeare, and they don't do it here. This work needs to be seen is a common reason for musicals to be restaged, and finer art, think of Oscar Wilde, Shakespeare, or Waiting for Godot, to be performed in smaller or rural communities. I'm looking at my notes is why I keep glancing down. Uh, three, I need prestige to sell things. This is another variation of ROI. This was a model that I sort of stumbled upon. So you have someone who wants to play producer for two reasons usually. They want prestige and they can use prestige to sell things. They don't get to play in the arts. Show business in the arts has appeal to people. They want to work with us. They want to sneak backstage. They want to be in the big movie with Tom Cruise and we're the closest they're ever going to get. So they sign on to the team. They sign on to the troupe. They can't act. They can't dance. They can't sing. And they don't have the time to learn. They're busy. They run, in my example, a, a car salesman. He owns a lot. He and his team of eight sell a lot of Cadillacs in the greater whatever area. And they are the biggest salesman in the town of whatever. They can't dedicate the time, but they can write a check for five or $10,000 and join the team and play with the actors and brag about it to all their friends. Brag about it to all their friends. Just like you or me, they're proud. They put it on Instagram. It's no big deal. Ego and pride are not horrible things if kept in check. And they don't get a chance to do that a lot. But they also notice that this makes them a little bit more of a big deal. They're not just Tom from Tom Britton Chevy, the biggest Chevy dealer in whatever, wherever. They're also a guy that produces theater and cares about the arts. This adds to their prestige in general. But I'll tell you, if I'm a car salesman and I'm sitting at that bar in the lobby, sipping my white wine, people are walking up to me and they're saying, hey, man, this was really good. I like this show. I love that you're involved in theater. You don't seem like you'd be the type. I just see your face on the billboards as I'm driving to work all the time. And then I come here and you're doing a production, this burlesque show, this magic show, this Troilus and Cressida by Shakespeare. That's really cool. Also, my daughter needs a car. Can I come by on Monday? I can easily spin this into an absolutely you can. Here's my card and tell them I sent you. I'll make you a deal. Any salesman worth their salt can pull that off. So not only am I investing in theater because it gives me prestige, but I honestly think I can make a few bucks at it, not just selling tickets. 
It's just like putting up a banner, a billboard. It's it's brand management on the low scale. Your electronics manufacturers, electronics dealers, uh, your small time dry cleaners, etc. They'll put their names in programs. They'll put their names on the producer line because they want that prestige to sell tickets. The other one's for the big money players. Now this really goes above forty five thousand, but if you're playing in the upper echelon of what I'm talking about. There are families that will put their name on projects just for prestige. This is a rich people's problem. If I have $100 million to my family name and you have a measly $10 million, pff, change, you pauper. Well, I can't tell. There's no difference in our lifestyle. I learned this from Dave Chappelle. He talked about it one time. You and I eat at the same restaurants. You and I fly the same private jets. You and I meet at the same clubs. But I have so much more money than you do. How do I prove that? We have the same fancy watch and the same mail order bride. How do I prove I'm so much more valuable than you are? I put the name Rockefeller on giant plazas and buildings all over the world. I put my name like Hearst on institutions. I start foundations in my name and I produce theater because you may be able to produce theater also, but my theater, I don't know if you know this, the theater company I produced last year, they just won a Jefferson Davis award. That's kind of a big deal. We're quite proud of it. You know, you'd have to also get lucky just like me. You'd have to have picked the right thing. So you and I both produce theater for fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars. But my, oh, it's a little underground thing I do. It's a bunch of comedians. I do one person shows, one man shows, one woman shows. But one of them is going to Broadway, you know. And I'm thinking of producing her. It sounds like I'm making them sound petty, because they are. But if you play in that bigger pool, that is a very important reason for them to get involved with you. They want prestige for a family name. So if you can find a way to put that family name out there, you can help them. It's a game they're playing. You can benefit from them playing a game. There are tons of other reasons why people would produce theater, but in my experience, these are the ones I most commonly get. They're making money. They're making money off prestige. They're gaining prestige. Or honestly, you need 200 bucks to run a coffee shop on Wednesdays to do your show. Here, check the couch. I think I have $200 somewhere. Enjoy. If you have any other questions, you can always look me up. I'm not hard to find. My name is Tom Britton from The Danger Circus. On behalf of willattended.com slash blog, thanks for listening.